Ladies and gents, welcome back to The Random. It's your host, Smallwood Worldwide. We're back again with another video. And today, we're going to take a look at iOS 17.2 Beta, the journal app. Now, if you have the iOS 17.2 Developer Beta, you have access to this. Just for clarity, it is not available on iPad OS, only iOS 17.2, ladies and gents. Without further ado, let's jump in, shall we? So, as you can see, when you first click into the journal app, you're met with this banner homepage. Looks beautiful. Welcome to journal. I don't know about you, but for me, I've been looking forward to this for a very long time. So, as you can see, it talks about writing about your experiences and different insights and essentially inspiring you to find a way to journal. And I think that's pretty cool. We click continue. Now, as you can see, the color scheme here, very nice. Different variations of purple, you know. It gives you the plus sign here, which I assume is going to give you the opportunity to begin the journaling. Let's click up here. See what we get first. Oh, nothing. So let's start here. There we are. So first things first, it says journaling suggestions. So iPhone uses AI essentially to help create journaling suggestions based on your everyday moments, which is pretty cool. I'm going to hit customize here. And um, although that looks pretty good, I'll hit turn on for now will allow in totality. Let's see what we get here. As you can see, this is happening in live motion. Pretty good, private access to suggestions. Let's hit learn more. So your journal only has access to suggestions when you start writing about them or save them. The information used to create a suggestion, such as a photo or a workout, is also shared with your journal at that time. Apps that use private access to offer suggestions will appear in journaling suggestions. So that's pretty good insights. Let's go to recent, which of course there's nothing. We'll hit that little X button. Let's hit cancel. Let's go here again. Take a look at that. So now, as you're met with the new entry, they give you some different things to kind of look at here. Reflection, what's the nicest thing someone did for you recently? Review your recent connections. Which one did you learn from the most? What music helps you to calm down when you feel stressed, anxious, or et cetera? So this is pretty cool stuff here. Good context to have. Also, again, no recent. Let's hit new entry and look at that. So from here, you get a chance to actually start writing things. Looks like you have the ability to save it. Nice on the dates there. You get a chance to go in and add pictures. Let's go ahead and click that. It says private access to photos. Your photo library is shown here, but journal can only access the items you select, which again, pretty cool here. So let's go ahead and select this. We'll allow while using the app, we'll collect this, this, and this, right? So we'll just call this wind down time. And there we are. On Friday, October 27th, 2023, we're going to create our first journal. We're going to hit done. You do have the ability to lock your journal. So let's go ahead and set that up right now. It says require passcode after one minute. We'll hit turn on. Do you want your journal to be able to use Face ID for me? Absolutely. There it is. And look at that. I love that it gives you a nice culmination of the photos that you have, the title, and then, of course, however deep you decide to go within the journal itself. Let's go ahead and click here. So you get all entries, right? You also get photos. Let's click on photos. I like that it shows you that. So it's a little bit of filter in there. Very nice. This is a great first look. Now, just for hits and giggles, as we can see that we have the ability to go in and add journals. Let's take a look at recent. So being that this is in beta, it doesn't show it just yet. Maybe if we go out and go back in, it'll be there. But the good news is we're going to go to settings. So let's go right over and settings. We're going to go scroll up here and we're going to go down and take a look for journal. Right. And there you go. As you can see, these are the different settings. You have the ability to skip journaling suggestions, which I think is pretty cool. You get to change your preferred language, which is always a win. If you go down here, you can set up a journaling schedule. So we're going to do something here. We are going to use the schedule. 
and we're going to do this. It says turn on notifications to set a journaling schedule, turn on notification settings. So we would do that. Um, boom, 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 boom. Let's see. So we're going to go back. So ladies and gents, we're back. I had to go in and restart the phone, of course, because it is on a beta, 17.2 developer beta. But guess what? We have the ability now to enable notifications. What do you know? So let's go ahead and do that. We'll hit enable. We'll click allow. Now, looks pretty good, right? Let's go out. Let's go back to settings here. Now we are in the journaling app. We're going to try to go back down to it here as we've just passed it by. There we are. Now, we don't want to do journaling suggestions right now, right? But what we do is want to try to schedule. There you are. Now, for me, it's giving me Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, but we're going to do this every day for now, right? And you know when we're going to look to enter this journal? We're going to come in. I'm a night owl myself, so we're going to set this for 11.45 every night. Now, as you can see, you've had the ability here to set a schedule for your journal. It will reach out and let you know, hey, it's journaling time. And I think that's pretty cool. Down here, you have the ability to save photos, of course, and videos inside of the journaling app. So you can use that feature in there as well. And otherwise, this is kind of what you get in the settings. Let's go back to the actual journaling app, little face ID. Let's go here. Let's take a look. Again, all entries and photos. And let's open this up. Again, pretty good. Let's click on those three dots. So you have the ability to bookmark. You can edit the journal apparently at any time. And also you can delete it, of course, if you've moved on from it. Let's hit this plus button again, see what we get. The recent still isn't showing up, but that's okay. We still have the recommended and everything like that. Um, and even with the recommended, as you see, when you click on it, it starts you off there and then you can start writing and adding things into it. As you see, you have the ability to utilize the camera. You can add pictures. You can do the basic journaling. You can leave a voice note and it appears you can do location. So once again, for me, we're going to delete this entry because I do want to utilize this properly. We'll revisit this down the line as the betas keep dropping until it becomes official with 17.2 releases for the public. But I love what I've seen from the journaling app so far. If you have it and you have the developer beta, hit us up in the comments. Let's dialogue about it. Let me know what you think. Until then, like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you again sooner than you think. Peace.